everyone and welcome to Virtual Adult Hands-On. We are going to be making some cute little terrarium necklaces today. They're really teeny tiny but they are absolutely adorable and we're filling them with some sand and some moss as well. If you have some special moss around your house or any particular little dried flowers that you'd like to put into your little terrarium, you can do that as well. But let's go ahead and take a look at what we have in the kit included. Everything that's included in the kit should be enough to make a single cute little terrarium necklace with some moss in it. Let's go ahead and get started and take a look at what's in our kits. In your craft kit, you should have some instructions, a funnel template, moss, some string for your necklace, an eyelet screw, a mini vial and a cork, a fastener and an o-ring, two toothpicks, and some sand. So our first step is to cut out the funnel template, and this is what we're going to use to get the sand into the vial. Alternatively, there's an easier way where we can just open up our bag of sand and scoop a little bit of it into the vial. So just sticking our vial in there and scooping just a little bit of it. You don't want a lot of sand in your vial. You want just a, about maybe a quarter of a way filled with it. Maybe just that bottom pointed part. There we go. So I'm only going to fill the bottom of it with sand and that way I can fit more moss into there. Now you can use a clothespin or a piece of cloth to prop your bottle up. I like to just hold it with my hands or place it in between my knees and work that way. But whichever works easiest for you. So now we have our sand in there. Let's go ahead and start using some of our moss. And now some of this moss is brown, some of it's green. I'm gonna pick the green stuff and just start tearing little pieces of it off. You really won't need much, but you do want it to be torn up into little pieces so that it'll fit in there. And we're going to start, we're going to start to stuff those pieces of moss into our necklace. So you can start using your hand and your fingers and then we can use one of these toothpicks to press it all down in there. So this is gonna take me just a minute. I'm gonna keep filling up my vial with moss and I'll be right back to show you the results. Now you wanna get it in there so that it's fairly packed and don't worry about putting any water in there. The moss will stay green anyways. All right, so now I've got my moss in my vial. It's looking good. I left a little bit of headspace at the top so that I could put my cork in there. Let's go ahead and move on to that step and put our corks in our vials once you have enough moss and sand in there. So we're just going to push that in and you want to push it in kind of gently but also as deep as it will go. There we go. Cool. Next we want to take our eyelet screw and right in the center of the top of our cork we're going to gently push and screw it in. You want to push and screw at the same time making sure that you're staying at the center of your cork. Okay, there we go, it's all centered. Next you're gonna take your string and we're going to thread the string through the eyelet, just like that. Now we wanna thread our string through the eyelet before we put on the O-ring and the fastener because otherwise it won't fit through. So let's go ahead and put on our O-ring and our fastener. And this is just as simple as tying a double knot 
You can tie any sort of knot if you would like, but I'm just going to tie a quick double knot here. And we have our o-ring attached. And same thing with our fastener. Just a quick double knot will do. You can trim off any ends that you have at the end. So we are almost done. All right, and now you have your wearable necklace. You can also trim before putting on the o-ring. You can trim your necklace to be as long or as short as you want. I made sure to make them kind of longer in case you wanted to wear yours longer. And there you have your wearable terrarium necklace. All right, everyone. Thank you so much for joining me today as we created our cute wearable mini terrarium necklaces. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button on YouTube so you can stay up to date with all of our latest crafts. We do these adult crafts twice a month, two different crafts each month, so make sure to check out our website as well to sign up for the next one. Sign up begins on the first of each month. We hope to see you next month as well. And that's all for today, so thank you again so much, and I hope you enjoy your mini wearable terrarium necklaces. Have a great day, everyone. Bye-bye.